Hello, everyone. The 75th episode had been finally released a few days ago, and I think everyone will agree with me if I say that it was just absolutely crazy. And I already got so much stuff to discuss with you for 26 minutes in my analysis of this episode, but somehow there are still some mind-boggling or funny details that I found when I re-watched this episode a couple of times more. Plus, I have read your comments that you guys wrote under my analysis video, and just as usual, I found out something really interesting in them as well. I'll never stop saying that my subscribers are the smartest people on earth for real. And by the way, if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, then I hope you'll change this satiation pretty quickly. So today I'm going to discuss all the secrets of episode 75 that I didn't cover in my previous video because it was already way too long to be honest. And trust me, the secrets that I found in this episode were just crazy, and some of them even made me laugh crazy hard. Now get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end because I saved the craziest secret for later, and let's go! And the first detail that I found while I was re-watching the episode is how many references Boom actually made to his earliest episodes, which were also pretty well hidden. And I must say that Boom actually started referencing his earlier episodes since episode 70, so that we'd feel much more nostalgic about how far the Skibbity Toilet series had actually come as I think. So episode 75 was no exception in that sense, although its references were much more subtle when in the first part of episode 70, for example, when we had been shown DJ Toilet in all his glory for a couple of seconds. Okay, and the first hidden reference to the earlier episodes was this group of hopeless toilets that were literally obliterated by a bunch of astros once they stepped into this cursed territory. And while I was watching the episode for the first time, I was really surprised how miserable these guys looked like. They were all so tiny and extremely under-equipped, and honestly, they looked like they just woke up from some sort of winter hibernation. All of them, especially this Skibidi Strider, looked like the came to this episode straight from episode 17 or something like that. And what also caught my attention is not only their tiny size and lack of relevant upgrades, but also the color of their toilet tanks, which was white, and it seemed like they were not made of metal. Although all the new Skibidi models changed their toilets from white to metal black. So it seems to me that those toilets were literally a reminder of the earlier era of Skibidi toilets. And this whole scene shows how powerful Astro toilets are, and that in comparison to them, Skibidi Army stands no chance to survive on its own. And another possible reference that one of my subscribers has noticed is that the iconic smoking toilet that became buddies with the cameraman commander really quick is the reference to the urinal toilet from the second episode. But honestly, bro, I don't really think that the smoking Skibidi was a reference to some specific model, and especially to those two urinals who were made on the basis of male 07 and male 09 models. And lots of other regular Skibidi toilets resembled the facial features of male 07, so I think that the smoking brother was just one of them. Well, and now let's go to the next secret that I found, and to tell you honestly, guys, this one detail is pretty cryptic, and it's connected directly to Astro Jugger Sun, which was the mini version of Astro Juggernaut. So you see, when I saw his destroyed body for the first time with his skull looking on the outside, I found its shape pretty weird. And while I was analyzing the actual episode, I suggested that it's probably pieces of his head skin and scalp facing all the possible directions, and that the female mutant simply destroyed his whole skull out of hatred. But then my subscribers suggested that those weird pieces of skin were, well, the actual puppy's ears? And honestly, I couldn't even believe it at first, so I went back to this scene and rewatched it again. And yeah, those things actually looked like puppy's ears. So what could that mean, though? Is this some sort of comeback of animals sitting in the toilets and such? Because I still remember the iconic Skibidi Toilet Kitty from episode 16. So could it be that now we'll see the upcoming wave of doggo toilets as well? Well, that would be pretty hilarious at this point. But what made this scene even crazier in case the puppet's theory is actually true is the relationship between this late doggo toilet and Astro Juggernaut. Because in case you don't remember, when Astro Juggernaut saw the lifeless body of his apprentice, he shouted, My baby! Which proved that he had a very warm feelings towards this mini guy. But considering that Astro Juggerson is possibly a dog, then could that mean that Astro Juggernaut is a doggo as well as he referred to the mini guy as his baby? Or to say even more, what if this toilet was not actually his son or anything but a whole freaking pet? Because in this case, this whole theory is becoming even crazier it already is. And what do you guys think about all this madness? Be sure to share your own thoughts on that topic in the comments below. 
And also do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Okay, and now it's time to move to another secret detail that I omitted in my actual analysis. And this time it's connected to the female mutant that already managed to become one of my favorite girls in the series. So right now, I'm searching for a special nickname for her character. So if you guys have any cool suggestions, then be sure to write them in the comments so I could choose the best name for her. So first of all, I actually discovered why her face seemed so familiar to me. Because as it turned out, her model was actually taken by Boom from the popular game series called Halo. So when I compared her with the model of a Halo female troop, I definitely saw the similarity. But that is not all which is connected with her. In fact, in the scene where the mixed team can be noticed walking silently from Astro Juggernaut lurking around, we can see how she actually stole the part of Astro Juggerson weaponry and put it on her back. And I am really amazed by how easily she can carry such a heavy thing around as if it weighs nothing. So I think she is definitely a mutant because if she continued to be human in one way or another, she would definitely not be able to carry on such a heavy thing. And I also noticed another detail about this whole scene. The detail that the Skibidi girl stole from Astro Juggerson's body resembled the iconic weapon from Half-Life game series a lot. And this weapon is called Gravity Gun, so you can compare these two images together and certainly see a similarity on your own. And I'm really curious how valuable this weapon can actually be. Maybe aside from the ordinary usage in battles, it can also be researched by either Skibidi scientists or the scientists of the Alliance considering that their laboratory is bigger and more advanced, and that Skibidi Army and the Alliance's forces are united now. So it's possible that arms race will be continued even further, and soon the Alliance will have their own mirrored versions of Astro Toilet's unique technologies or something like that. Okay, and then let's move on to the hottest and most ridiculous secret I've found so far. Do you guys remember this iconic chair that was shown to us in the last leak for Episode 75 in Boom's Instagram account? And I suggested in the video where I was analyzing these leaks that this chair could have been an indication to humans having their own plot arc soon in the future, or to the secret agent himself who could be also seen sitting on the similar chair back in episode 70. But I also know that some of my subscribers have the craziest theory regarding this chair in their minds, and it was about the appearance of the new race. And to tell even more, you folks already came up with the name for his so-called new race, which is Chairman. Okay guys, but this is just so unserious that I almost laughed the heck out of my body when I heard this name for the first time. But I suppose the joke was actually on me all this time because guess what my eye caught while I've been re-watching episode 75 for several times? I actually noticed the exact same chair in this frame when the POV was briefly looking outside for a moment. And what just blew my mind honestly is the fact that this chair was completely empty and it was moving on its own, which was sus as hell. And you can tell me of course. Well, maybe it happened because there were so many heated battles in this area. And there could be a strong wind from all these astro obliterators flying around. And yeah, sure, it makes sense. But it would be so much funnier to suggest that this chair could be indeed alive and it was observing the whole area to gather some bits of information about all these toilets fighting one another. Just like astro toilets did in episode 68. But okay, all right, guys, let's not do that much of a yapping at the moment because this is pretty ridiculous but I still enjoyed this little reference a lot and it brightened my mood till the end of this day. So I couldn't ignore it and not share with you folks, and I hope you found it funny as well. And that was all for today. I really hoped you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons and don't forget to leave a comment under this video, because I love reading what y'all are gonna say. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube and Discord channels so you won't miss my new awesome videos. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!